So look, Jacob, who was always so good and careful with his plants, is very clear about where he is to be buried. So we are reading now the end of chapter 49 of Genesis, Torah, the death of Jacob. Abraham, Isaac, Jacob is also called Israel. And Stefan Heger, in this early morning in Islamabad, Pakistan, I'm reading the Bible with you. As always, open your own language Bible and do not miss today's message from God for you in the Old Testament. You see, Jacob gave directions to his sons. He said, I am about to join the members of my family who have already died. Bury me with them in the cave of the, in the field of Ephron the Hittite. The cave is in the field of Ma Machpelah near Mamre in Canaan. Abraham had bought it as a place where he could bury his wife's body. He had bought the cave from Ephraim the Hittite along with the field. The bodies of Abraham and his wife Sarah were buried there. So were the bodies of Isaac and his wife Rebekah. I also buried Leah's body there. You see, this was one of Jacob's wife when she died. A childbirth, you remember? Abraham bought the field and the cave from the Hittites. When Jacob had finished telling his sons what to do, he pulled his feet up into his bed. Then he took his last breath and joined the members of his family who had already died. Chapter 50, we start from verse 1. Joseph threw himself on his father's body. He sobbed over him and he kissed him. Then Joseph talked to the doctors who served him. He told them to prepare the body of his father Israel to be buried. So the doctors prepared it. They took 40 days to do it. They needed that much time to prepare a body in the right way. The Egyptians sobbed over Jacob for 70 days. So 40 days preparing the body and another 30 days mourning over the person. And then, after the days of sorrows had passed, Joseph went to Pharaoh's officials. Now, how you keep this body uh, ready for such a long time? That was the Egyptian way of preserving a body. Remember? From Pharaoh? I was in Egypt. He said to them, if you are pleased with me, speak to Pharaoh for me. Tell him, my father made me take an oath to make a promise to him. He said, I'm about to die. Bury me in the tomb I dug for myself in the land of Canaan. So let me go up and bury my father, then I'll come back. Pharaoh said, go up and bury your father. Do what he made you promise to do. So Joseph went up to bury his father. All of Pharaoh's officials went with him. They were the important people of his court and all of the leaders of Egypt. All of Joseph's family also went, his brothers and all the rest of his father's family went too. Only their children and their flocks and herds were left in Goshen. Chariots and horsemen also went up with him. It was a very large group. They came to the threshing floor of Atat, so it was near the Jordan River. They, there they sobbed loudly and bitterly. Joseph set apart seven days of sadness to honor his father's memory. The people of Canaan who were living there saw how sad all of them were at the threshing floor of Atat. They said, the Egyptians have a very special service for the dead. That's why that place near the Jordan River is called Abel of the Egyptians. So Jacob's sons did exactly as he had commanded them. They carried his body to the land of Canaan. They buried him in the cave in the field of Machpelah near Mamre. Abraham had brought the cave as a place where he could bury his wife's body. He had bought it from Ephron the Hittite along with the field. After Joseph buried his father's 
He went back to Egypt, his brothers and all of the others who had gone to help him bury his father went back with him. So far today.